and welcome Flip Clock fans to 2021. We want to wish you all Happy New Year, all our Flip Clock fans out there. And to start the new year, we're going to go back to our roots. We're going to do a restoration video. Here we've got the Magnavox Model 1R1784, often just caught the Model 1784. We got this off of eBay and as you can see, it is dirty. A lot of that's kind of like a soot that comes off of the electronics over the years. I'm going to show you or talk to you about how to get that out of there and look at this mess. The radio works to some degree, but it hums and the clock is not flipping. Looks like there's a science experiment going on here or something's living there. What we had here was a capacitor that was actually leaking and that was causing the hum. So I replaced that capacitor. I had trouble with the other capacitors. I'll talk about that in a second. I was able to oil the motor, got that going again. And this is a light that I was able to replace. I actually got that years ago, new old stock off eBay. I couldn't tell you where. It's almost the exact replacement. And what this does is it goes in this part right here, it goes in this metal sleeve there to light up that dial so that you can see the numbers at night. So that only comes on when the radio is playing. I was very fortunate there. Now this is my New Year's resolution. Always put a cardboard piece over your speaker. Save a lot of speakers that way. Now I was fortunate here because this is a very long lead on this neon glow bulb assembly. And that's rare. And I was able to push these tubes back now you're not always going to be able to do that, but I'll kind of explain here what I did. Got me a neon glow bulb here. It's the C2A. It's a comparable replacement. It gives off as much light as these bigger ones, and you have to get a resistor too. I'm going to cut it off about right there and put in the new bulbs. I've got these at Metronics.com. You can get them there too. You can see it glows pretty well. We've got that done. We've got the bulb inside the dial here and it's lighting that up well. But here's a problem here. The designers of this clock decided in their wisdom that they were gonna melt the tabs to put that face on there. So I'd like to get a hold of those guys and give them what for. But it wasn't very smart. But to get this clean, I actually used Windex. Believe it or not, use Windex. I had to use a paper towel, soft paper towel and a stick to kind of guide it down through underneath there so I didn't have to to break through that melted plastic there. You can see we've got it lit up and this is in a semi-lit room and you can still see it's going to be lit up at night really well. It turned out really well. The clock's working, it's flipping, the radio's working. We did put some deoxit on the uh, potentiometers, got things going. Now this clock came about around 1972. Here's an ad from 73. It was $44 which is about $270 in today's dollars. It's for the rich kids, but now it's mine. So it turned out really well, as you can see, it's clean, looks good, it's running well. Yes, I know I didn't replace all the other capacitors because, well, they were just hard to get to, but that's the way it is. Well, thanks for taking the time.